Obviously, I feel proud that India is hosting this COP11 on Convention of Biological Diversity. So it's an opportunity for all Indians, those who are working on the field of biodiversity, to participate and experience and take learning of it. So this is basically my first objective to learn and experience from the huge gathering. Uh, it will give uh, definitely a um, opportunity of cross-learning uh, and uh, to put your issues in a larger forum. So this is basically uh, my objective to participate uh, in this program. Great. Um, Mr. Panda, we know that um, the issue of climate change uh, also has a significant impact on um, the extremes of weather conditions um, you know, and, 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 and the marine uh, biodiversity especially and uh, floods um, and uh, you know, high tides, etc. Um, give us an idea on how uh, the, the trend in the recent times um, in the area, in the, in, the, in the geographical region that you work uh, and what kind of impacts have been seen. Yeah, you see, we are working in the state of Odisha in India and as you know, we have a diverse climatic zone and uh, we have a long coastal belt also in the, uh, in the Bay of Bengal and uh, which is very vulnerable due to the climate change. And uh, at present we are experimenting some of our ideas uh, on uh, the disaster risk reduction and uh, to, uh, on, on, uh, because of the climate change. Uh, so we are now trying to uh, mapping the traditional knowledge and uh, they are used to uh, reduce the vulnerability in, in one way. The other way, we are also associated uh, with different indigenous community and local communities in Odisha. As you know, it is a huge land of uh, tribal people, Adivasi people, and around 22% uh, of the total population of the state is covered by tribal people. And uh, their dependency on forest is huge so far as their livelihood is concerned. And because of this climate change, it has a great impact uh, on the forest-based uh, biodiversity and the livelihood. So we are uh, trying to build up their capacity uh, to um, uh, this map their traditional knowledge and uh, the mitigation and ad adaptation mechanism uh, uh, what they have traditionally. And also we are trying to uh, build their capacity on the information that is evolving on climate, uh, climate change uh, discussion uh, and we are disseminating those information to them and uh, also uh, picking up the issues what they are facing because of this uh, climate change uh, to different forum, making their voice heard in different forum. Brilliant. I think that's a very critical job to do, uh, to the dissemination of information. Uh, apart from this, uh, give us an idea of uh, what specific activities you take up uh, at the at the at the ground level. Uh, we have that belief: the uh, if the resources will be governed by the local community, then it will be um, more rich and more diverse. So, what we are doing at present, uh, uh, we are developing models at gram panchayat level, which is the most uh, down uh, level in uh, the in the three tier panchayat system at the ground level. So building their capacity uh, to take decision, building uh, the capacity of the institutions like Gram Sabha, Palli Sabha and Panchayat, uh, Gram Panchayat, Panchayat Samiti so that uh, they can govern their own resources and, and uh, they can uh, strongly stand for the cause of conservation of biodiversity and their livelihood. That's one aspect. The other aspects at, at the coastal line, we, we are uh, trying to make people more oriented uh, to be more adaptive uh, in, the, in the case of uh, climate change uh, and, and uh, by that they can um, uh, see, uh, see the livelihood threat what is emerging can be reduced. All right, um, I think that's, that's, that gives us an idea of uh, uh, the, state of, the, the state of biodiversity in, in, in the coast, along the coastlines of Orissa. And uh, that was in, in, insightful. And thank you for uh, I, I, one more point. I would like to add here: the uh, recently enacted Forest Right Act 2006 has a l very large scope, uh, and RCDC uh, as an organization is uh, involved in uh, better implementation of the Forest Right Act, so that the local community, the tribal people, can get 
their rights over their community forest resources. Simultaneously, two, two more important legal aspects are there. One is the Biological Diversity Act and the other one is uh, the Panchayat Extension to Schedule Area Act. This PESA and BDA, uh, this, this is uh, an FRA. This all three are uh, very important instrument uh, for the uh, scheduled area uh, and uh, RCDC as an organi organization is uh, doing research, study and advocacy on proper and effective implementation of all these three instruments.